Hey fam, Chi Chi here today. We're just gonna play in a little bit of makeup, have a couple of combos, and um, yeah, damn, I don't even know how to start this. So, starting off with bad news, Mel Thompson, she is a YouTuber. <laughs> um, sadly, she has passed, and um, it sucks. It really sucks because she was one of the realer YouTubers, and that is just hard to come by. I'm getting emotional. I can't even speak. Like, <laughs> it, it just threw everybody off. And I think it shocked a lot of people who actually knew of her. I'm going to be using the Pat McGrath palette. This probably would have been her next palette to review. Not this one. Um, Pat McGrath dropped another mega palette similar to this. I'll go into details of why I picked this palette. I don't know how this is this look is gonna come out because nothing makes sense right now, but this eye look is probably gonna be indicative of it. I found Mel through Kelsey Brianna J. Kelsey is another YouTuber who is really, really great at reviewing products. And her and Mel both reviewed makeup palettes. And when I tell you they did the work, they did the work, they did multiple looks. We actually have Kelsey to thank um, for Mel even having a YouTube channel because she convinced her uh, for quite some time to start a YouTube channel. How they supported each other is just, that's what friends are, are like, that's how you're supposed to be with your friends. Unlike me, they're actually makeup artists so I 100% relied on their opinion as makeup artists, you know, how a product actually performs. Like some of you guys think I'm a makeup artist. No, I'm a consumer who loves makeup. So to see their opinions on products, it, it was just very informative, especially there's not a lot of people on YouTube who do really thorough reviews of makeup and skincare and things like that where it's not like jamming a discount code down your throat and you know a lot of the stuff that they reviewed they pay for out of their own pockets and let me tell you makeup is not as cheap as people think especially when you know you have a platform where people want to see a whole collection like what should I get from the collection it's not like oh let me just see this one piece you know you want to please everybody and they that's what they did they they pleased everyone it's just crazy that Mel is gone because Mel was only 35 she's young like very young I'm 37 like we're in that same age group you know and the fact that she leaves behind a husband and four young kids, like that's that's probably the most heartbreaking part. Anytime someone dies young or they leave behind very young children, it, it hits me right in the core. And in this situation, it was both. You know, she had four kids that she's leaving behind and it's just like, why? Like, it doesn't make sense. Now, I know she, um, had some sort of illness she was in pain and the fact that she was churning out multiple videos a week like <laughs> I'm over here struggling to post a one video a week and she's she's just bong, 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 and I'm just like wow and the fact that she was doing this like while she was sick it's just it's crazy you know it's that's dedication you don't get too many dedicated youtubers the way she was dedicated i don't think i like this color uh kelsey actually posted a video message about um mel's passing and if you do see that Make sure you ain't got nothing to do because I mistakenly watched that during my lunch break and I was bawling. 
I I was just like, oh my God, I gotta go back to work in like 10 minutes. Kelsey said a lot of sweet things about Mel. The beauty of their relationship, the last time she actually spoke to Mel, it, it broke my heart, you know? It just really broke my heart because you can tell that the love between them were, it was real, it still is real. Like that, that energy doesn't die. The reason why I decided to use the Pat McGrath um, palette today is because Kelsey sh shared a very like cute story um, about the recent uh, Pat McGrath palette that just came out. I'm not gonna tell you the whole story. Go to Kelsey's page, watch her video, and you know, just, it was a message from Mel. That's all I'm gonna say about that. Just go to Kelsey's video. And um, I was just like, oh my God, that was totally Mel, you know. It's gonna make you cry. The video is gonna make you cry. I, me, me sitting here thinking about it, I'm freaking watery in the eyes. But um, Kelsey did set up a GoFundMe account uh, for Mel's family. So you can go ahead and donate if you wish. If you don't, that's fine, no pressure. If you don't feel like donating, you can watch one of her old videos to, you know, just help that way. And um, yeah, support Kelsey because Kelsey, ooh girl, I feel for her and Puffin and <laughs> the children. I just, I feel for everyone and I hate this. I look. I freaking hate it. <laughs> oh my god, it's terrible. I I don't like this. Um. Yeah, I think I got I gotta restart this because yeah, I'm not digging what's going on right now. So um, I'm gonna be right back. Okay, <laughs> we're back. There will never be another person like Mel. Go ahead, support her channel. Um, support Kelsey because I know she's going through it, and um you know, all my love to her family, you know, during this difficult time, but she will be greatly missed. It like, just, just greatly missed, <laughs> you know? So, <sighs> damn. Yeah, let's pivot a little bit. I'm in this weird place uh, in, with when it comes to YouTube because it's like, uh, you know, I do these videos and not a lot of people watch it. I've been, I just celebrated four years on here. I've been here on here for four years. I don't want to give up because I feel like I have more to do on here, but it's just like, what is it for? You know, it's just like, all right, you know, I, I, I've invested in new lights, new cameras, lenses and stuff like that. But you know, I'm not really seeing the results in order to you know keep going but then on the flip side of it i'm like have you really been going that hard like you know i at one time was doing like a video every couple like three days or whatever so some weeks you'll get two day um two videos some weeks you'll get uh one vi video and it was it kind of alternated the way it fell and then it kind of just went back to the one video because there's stuff in my own personal life that I had to attend to. So it's like, all right, <laughs> what, what, what's a girl to do right now? Cause mm, like, do I, do I really need to keep going? I don't know if this is it either. <laughs> I think it's everything that I have on. That's, that's what it is. We're, we're, we're gonna move on. We're just gonna do the face. As some of you guys know, I have two channels. I have a luxury based channel and I have this channel and it's gotten to the point where like if I'm doing really great on this one like uploading wise my other my luxury channel fails and then if I'm being consistent on my luxury channel this channel like falls to the wayside and I'm like at a crossroads where I'm like oh, okay do I merge the two do I you know just cancel one it's a lot of work maintaining two channels and the luxury channel was my first channel so it's kind of like my baby you know it's the channel that I know the most creators with I'm a little bit closer in that community 
but it's also the channel that brings me no revenue you know and it's not about money it, I, I don't want to make it seem like it's about money but it's like all right I've had that channel for longer it's something about luxury that people it's very taboo for some odd reason and that's why I always kept the luxury channel separate because when you grow on YouTube and you start buying nicer things people are like oh my god they root for you they root for you and then all of a sudden they're like oh she thinks she bougie you know I haven't reached that level of success but I was kind of thinking ahead as like you know I don't want no smoke with that you know so I do love my luxury channel and I love my luxury family and I love you guys you're my fam too but it is a bit difficult trying to keep up both channels um so I'm just trying to figure out how I want to like go forward with both of my channels because I don't want either one to suffer because they both are very important to me it's all something to think about and I guess with me reaching the four-year milestone and then with Mel's passing and then watching uh, Kelsey's video it's like I want to keep going you know I wasn't planning on quitting but I just I need to put in more effort like when you see people like Mel who are in pain and they're still wanting to pump out content and or having people who have emotional breakdowns and then turn on the camera and act like nothing's happened you know I admire those people you know because it is tough trying to deal with you know your own psychosis and all of a sudden you got to put on a freaking smile and talk about a palette or skincare or whatever your niche is and it's just like I want to freaking talk about this you know you never know what someone's going through mentally emotionally physically spiritually like you never know and that's why I never comment on anybody's state of being they can be taking on the world and you not know you know and um yeah I just been at a crossroads with that um another crossroad that I'm kind of at which is something I'm actually excited about. But as of late, I've just been wanting to really tap into my feminine energy. Yeah, I just want to be a little bit more feminine, a little bit more just, I don't know. I, I Maybe it's hormones. I don't know, girl, but sis is going through it. And I just want to take on explore this energy that i am been feeling. I don't quite know what all of that entails, but I want to find out what it is. <laughs> I want to dress a different way. Uh, some of you may or may not know I've been trying to lose weight. I was successful right up until my birthday with losing 30 pounds and then I stopped my diet. I was only supposed to take the break for my birthday and get right back on my diet but it turned into a whole freaking summer so luckily I haven't gained a bunch of weight back I think the most I gained was like five pounds but I'm like girl you need it you got goals to meet you know so I've been wanting to lose some weight so I lost my first 30 I'm, I need to lose 60 more. That'll put me in the 190 category, which is okay. That's fine because I don't want to be on a diet for the rest of my life. Like that's just not me. Bitch loves food. I like drinking. I, well, I don't drink that much. Cut that one out. I like food. I like, but the thing is sweets is what does me in every time. I just want to live a healthier lifestyle. And if that means cutting down on the sweets, well, damn it, that's what's going to happen. So um, I just really want to, you know, get healthy it, with my body. It's like, girl, you ain't got no kids. Like, you should be all the way snatched. And that doesn't mean a big girl can't be snatched. 
It's not what I'm saying. But I want to be healthy. I don't want to be real thin. I don't think real thinness is my jam. I like having curves. I like being fat, to be honest. I just don't like some of the the issues of being fat. You know, I don't want to be out of breath walking to a car or something. I not I shouldn't like break out in a sweat from this, you know. And I know menopause is coming my way, but girl, like I still want to zip and do it, you know? So I mean I'm just thinking about like little things like that and then mentally you know, I, I just want to get better. I'm a pretty strong person mentally. Uh, so I ain't got no issues with that. But, you know, I just want to... I'm I'm evolving. That's the word. I'm definitely evolving. And just really looking at my life as a whole. And looking at the parts of my life that I would like to make better. You know? And that's basically the journey I'm on. I'm like, listen, you, you, you've done all right thus far, but you can do better. And I think that's what happened when um, Mel died. It was like, girl, you think you're doing well, you could be doing better, you know? And I think I've become very complacent in a lot of areas in my life. And I don't like that. That's not cool. You know, I should be striving for better you know and I think just that's just where my mind is right now it's like do better just just do better and uh that's what I plan on doing it's like I'm going to take the rest of this year to like just really set up something but you know I do want to provide more content for you guys you know um because I do like bringing you content but I, I want to bring you different types of content, you know, and it not just be makeup and beauty aspect. I want to do other things too. And it's okay to evolve. And some of y'all might be like, no, I came for you for makeup and skincare. Like I'm out. Peace. And that's fine. You know, our journey has been that our journey. I'm not afraid to lose like subscribers like because for me it was never about subscribers it's just doing what I wanted to do you know but yeah I want to bring different types of content to you guys just stuff I really want to do you know don't know like exactly it's not gonna be nothing crazy because I don't live like a crazy life where I need to be documenting everything of every day <laughs> you know but you know just a different variety different vibe I'm just trying to figure out my life okay and you guys are probably gonna have a front row seat to it you know just the evolution of moi <laughs> that actually sounds like a cute cute channel if I'm not <laughs> that would be funny but wouldn't you want to watch a channel the evolution of moi I just need change I just feel very complacent I feel like everything is the same for me all the time I haven't put on lashes but I just feel like I, I need a change. I, I just, <sighs> something needs to be different. So I'm going to be, like I said, tapping into that feminine energy. It's like, what's all of that about? Maybe that's just hormones. My biological clock, maybe that's ticking. I, I don't know, you know, and I got to make some decisions, especially with that biological clock. Cause my mom went through menopause early my sister she's going through menopause early and I'm not that far off so what you gonna do sis uh so yeah I gotta figure out a lot of things in my life. well I said I was gonna do my lashes all right I feel like just putting on mascara to be honest because I'm not in love with this look yeah it's gonna be a mascara day the whole change that I feel like I need even comes down to my actual job. I like my job because during the, you know, pandemic, you know, she still kept a job, still was employed, but I don't know. It's just certain aspects of my actual job. I'm just not loving. I'm not going to say too much because I got the ops. <laughs> I got a couple of people who watch me, but, um, yeah, just certain, a couple of things that I'm just like, I want to do more. 
I want to, I want, I want to do more. <laughs> and, um, I just need to figure out that aspect of my life as well, you know? What I do is important. What I do makes me have a job, I'm employed. But am I okay with this possibly being like a lifetime job? <laughs> like, you know, is this a place I would like to retire from? Like, are you gonna be happy with the level of success that you're currently in? right now like I'm like I'm starting to have those types of thoughts in my mind is like are you content with that like that you good with that sis <laughs> and that that thought process has just been like literally with everything in my life it's like you good with this being at this size you good with your hair right now because I cut my hair <laughs> I didn't cut it like extreme like you know when somebody's going through stuff you know a uh, big chop I didn't do a big chop. I just cut off, uh, went to a salon for the first time and had my, I said, cut off what you need to cut off. <laughs> and that's exactly what she did. So my hair is like, maybe like up to here, whatever. And so I want to grow my hair, like fully, fully grow my hair. I, I've been doing this whole natural thing for 10 years now. And the fact that my hair didn't really grow it only grew like the first year and that's when i was really into youtube that's actually when i started um looking at youtube i'm going on a hair journey i was watching you love megs and um kiss and there was another girl um she had a gap i can't remember her name but yeah i was just watching all these girls with all this beautiful hair and i was like i want to text lax i want to do all this stuff and why is my hair so short? Like the first year it grew like wildfire. I was deep conditioning twice a week. You know, I was I was getting it. And then I, it, life, you know, life happened. I just want to make the necessary adjustments to my life as I see fit. Somebody actually said something on YouTube. I can't remember who I was watching, but they were like, in order to succeed in YouTube, you need to outlast the people who have quit. <laughs> You're right. You are right. And it, that makes total sense because there's tons of people who make channels every day. And some people are in it for whatever reason. I don't care about anyone's reason. If somebody is like, hey, I'm in here to make that money, do that. I'm for them. If somebody is really here for the love of makeup, skincare, fashion, beauty, tech, whatever it is, I'm also here for that too. I, whatever per a person's reasoning, as long as they're honest with themselves about it, I'm here for it. I, I really could care less about it. You can kind of notice a shift, a small shift in YouTube where a lot of the top creators aren't creating <laughs> as many videos as they used to. Now they're focusing on their own brands. Eventually you're gonna have to pivot. Like no one's on YouTube just doing YouTube. And it sucks for us as viewers, but that's natural change. And it's not just YouTube. If you take a look at a lot of celebrities, not to compare, oh, YouTubers are celeb, not what I'm saying, listen to my thoughts. If you look at Michael Jordan, you look at LeBron James, you look at Rihanna, you look at a lot of these people, they don't make the bulk of their money from what they started with. Rihanna doesn't make the bulk of her money from music. That's why she ain't put out an album. <laughs> she fucking with this makeup. She fucking with that lingerie. That's where her money is coming from. That's how she got to billionaire status. LeBron James, all of his, his endorsements and investments, that's what got him billionaire status. Michael Jordan selling sneakers not playing basketball. So at some point you have to pivot. Basically, when you look at all of these other YouTubers and they're pivoting, doing sunglasses and candles and makeup lines, yeah, that, that's a natural progression because that's what you're supposed to do. That's what's gonna truly make them their money because you're like, oh my God, you get so excited. Oh my God, they they came out with this. I'm a support, dot, 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 whatever. And yeah you're gonna buy it because you supported them for so many years and that's that's just the nature of the beast so don't get mad when a lot of people just end up pivoting you know because that's what happens 
it sucks because you lose out on like consistent content. Now they're only uploading once every two, three weeks, maybe once a month. And you're like, damn. The great thing about those, uh, the big YouTubers pivoting towards other avenues is that it allows a, a, a lane to open up. So I've been watching, you know, Maya Galore. I've been watching um, Mena. I've been watching, um, who is it? S Samaj. She, she's been on here for a long time, Samaj, but I, and I freaking love her. But um, Glow by Ramon, I've been watching smaller channels and just watching them, you know, build up because what else am I gonna do? I, I need people I can, I, I really fucks with, you know? Oh, look at that little line. Look at that, oh. <laughs> oh, God, oh, no. There we go. That, uh, oh my God, that was terrible. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah this is the final look i'm glad you sat here and just you know heard my thoughts you know um i will be staying on youtube not going anywhere i just gotta manage my time a little bit better and uh i'll definitely will take you along the journey of me <laughs> journey of moi and uh yeah excited to kind of just Figure out my ish on camera. <laughs> R.I.P. Mel, we love you, we miss you. I can't believe we won't hear Hey Beauties anymore. Like, that hit, damn. But in the meantime, check out some of my other videos and I will catch you in the next one. Stay comfy, guys. Bye.